Hey, it's me, Jesse Lee, with Hot Topic, and we got Pearson Vale. How's it going, guys? What's going on? You're going quite well. Ooh, How are you? I'm Sweet. doing well. Yeah, it's great. Well, this is a ginormous warehouse. Thank it's you. nice, air conditioned, super yes. cold, in super here. cold room. Yes, massive. I, I'm a good host. I want my guests to feel comfortable Absolutely. and not sweaty. That's why I, I expect nothing cold. less from you. Yeah. So, how's the weekend been going so far? Any uh, big highlights? I know you got a lot of stuff going on. Well, we just met Chris Connolly from Saves the Day, and. That was he, a monumental moment. He said that he is a big fan, and we yeah. were mind blown. Nice. That's, that's not the important part, Heim. The important <laughs> part is that we are big fans of him, and he has like literally like yeah. inspired a lot of our music and really? lyrics. And uh, that I, was I still think it was like a punk thing. I was waiting for him to be yeah. like, "Just kidding, I'm yeah, not. Yeah. I'm not into you guys." I just like, who I, the fuck are you guys? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was. I think we both were just like, yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was cool. Man. So that was a, I mean. I'm still trying to yeah. process it. <laughs> the whole, yeah. The whole, that made the whole weekend uh, just on a next level for us. So yeah. we're one step closer to the collab then. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. Don't even start That would be insane. That, would, that be... would be insane. My, yeah, my high school self couldn't. Couldn't take it. Yeah, I don't know if I could handle it. Couldn't take it <laughs> at all. But no, the, the weekend, uh, so far it's been amazing. We played last night and it was I'm still like processing it. It was yeah. incredible. Um, it's our first time we played like at nighttime, kind of, and mm -hmm. it was just the energy was outrageous. It felt like it felt like like a he like a headlining show. To, yeah. Like it was like it was crazy. It just I can't. Dude, I caught a little bit of it, but the set they recreated the album cover Ooh. on the set. Unbelievable! I just like, you, love yeah. the attention to detail you guys put in. Like, how did, it, did you guys have a big hand in making that, or did you just, like give it off to a team like make this? <laughs> well, Jaime's dad is a welder. Yeah, it was just my, my dad. dad my dad's a painter. Twenty-four hours a day. No, uh, <laughs> no, we have an awesome team that we uh, that brought all this to life, and um, we were all we were praising them last night, just like being like, yeah. When you, it's always amazing when you have an idea and and, and you have a great team that could kind of make it happen, and it worked out better than I think any of us ever could have expected. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the coolest things about where uh, being a band for a long time and like getting to this point where we can actually like have an idea and yeah. then actually do it. Yeah. Actually, because back in the day, we'd have an idea and, and then, they'd be like, "No, that's way too expensive." Way too expensive, yeah. or we can't. That's like, yeah, that can't work. But and now, now they're like, "Oh, sure, we could do that." Yeah, and we're we like, could "Definitely do that." Yeah, and, and we're so like, "Are you it was sure?" Just, it was just really cool to see and like. For us, you know, we're playing to the fans and 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 looking back on videos where they're you know from the fans' perspective and it's like, yeah. oh wow, that looks. Yeah, crazy. Like we were just really, we're just really happy with how it came out, and uh, I'm think I think I'm just more excited to do it again tonight. Yeah, because it looks cool live, but I saw some videos of it. And it looks even better on video. I heard Pete really Wentz like... suspended above the stage, I did and, hear and I heard that that was. That, yeah. I mean, that's always been your idea. Yeah. I want. I mean, I want to do <laughs> what Pink does. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> just circling around but I never I want to never come back yeah it's yeah. kind of a thing it's like <laughs> I want people to be like where is he coming back and I just never that's, never that's just the way I I just continue going all the way there's like wow so you're just gone now <laughs> are you guys doing the album front to back uh well we're uh, doing the album yes we are doing the album but, but it's not front to back it's not front gotcha. to back yeah we, yeah we, we found for uh for that album in particular that it was I think not doing it front to back is a little bit more exciting for yeah. this type of show. Makes sense, yeah. You know, but I mean, I do. I've seen some albums front to back, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, again, saves the day. I watched a little bit of them yeah. playing "Stay What You Are" front to back, and that was uh, a very surreal moment to see. I, would I felt like I was in my car. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, yeah. it is insane. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I saw that you also had Kellen Quinn and Jenna come out for tonight live. Yes, that's, that's and cool. uh, and Jason, Jason Butler from Oh yeah, yeah Fever Three 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 yeah. killed it. So that guy, good. when he gets on stage, I, that's like, he wakes me up. Like, yeah, he's I'm like, I thought I was woken up, but now I'm <laughs> yeah. actually here. Yeah. Like, he, it's it's crazy. He, it the was, energy he brings. It was great to see Jason on stage. Cause again, I hope we're not going to be able to see him on stage. This, you know, upcoming tour, unfortunately. So it's really great to see him up there and having fun, smiling. Yeah. Oh my he's god, a great time. I think he's like probably the best front man ever. Yeah, <laughs> he's so crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, having all those uh having everyone from the album it just feels really special yeah, you know, yeah it's yes. cool and um yeah it's awesome very cool so what's next after we're done basking in all the nostalgia from this weekend what's next for pierce avail the 299 steak and egg buffet yes i'll meet you there there we go yeah. great deals here in vegas I don't, <laughs> I don't know how they're making money on that i saw a sign that said all you can drink bad idea and i didn't know that that was <laughs> could idea. be a thing yeah um probably should play a slot machine at some point like yeah, <laughs> bring it to the eventually. table like here put a coin in yeah <laughs> But no, we have uh, we have a couple shows the uh, the rest of the year. We have 
a Mexico City show. We're, yeah, we're a little band called Blink One Eighty Two. That'll be fun. Yep. Um, and then a couple shows on the East Coast to Very end the year cool. Very during cool. Thanksgiving time. So that'll be fun. Yep. So that'll be it for the year. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Well, I got two more questions for you. I need you to lock in. These are serious ones, okay? Lock in. This is tough stuff. Okay. I need you to rate this song on a scale from one to ten for me. Okay. Just how you feel about it. Iris Boo Boo Dolls. Ten. Ten. Going straight ten? No hard question ten. was that. Ooh, huh? Hard yeah. ten. Have you not seen the video of them playing it like in Buffalo <laughs> in like 1997 and it's like pouring rain? Hard ten. Uh, Insane. Yeah. Incredible. Sweet brag. I was just talking to Rob Cavallo who recorded that song oh, okay. and he told me a little bit about... Uh, like how he does a lot of open tunings sure. and like he gave me all the deets about it and I was, deets. Deets. I, was uh, I was uh I was fanboying. It was yeah. It was, I mean that song is incredible. Very no, cool. no ifs, ands, or buts. You know, solid yeah. ten out of that one. So that was State Champs' answer to this next question yeah. for you guys. What is the greatest song of all time? Mm. The great <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh I know. I've come up with the tough questions. The greatest song of mm -hmm. all time? Ah, uh, that is insane. That's an insane I like, question. I like the um I have like three top ones that I think are like in a similar category of yeah. like um, just epic okay. like, like long songs that are just are you going to say Bohemian uh, it, yeah Bohemian Rhapsody is one uh, Across the Night by Silverchair is another one that's like just like a mazy yeah. beautiful it's a song and then Paranoid Android by Radiohead oh, okay. are like yeah. they're just like songs that like make me go like like how did, right. how, how how did, did that happen that? for me I'm going to go Vicente Fernandez El Rey oh wow. that one is I can't, I don't think that song will ever get old for me. Okay. It's from the moment I was a little kid to like even now. It, it's like a song is like 50 years old and it's yeah. still, every time I hear it, I'm like. Choices yeah. across the board. This yeah. is good stuff. And now he's going to sing it. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Cut to, cut to camera. Cut to camera. <laughs> cut. And then it cuts. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful, man. You Incredible. sounded so good. Blacked out. What happened? Ooh, yeah. God. We got that, right? Yeah, everyone's good. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. This is a Hot Topic Hot Box. And everyone watching, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Make sure to stream the crap out of Pure Surveil, all right? Take it easy now, and uh, bye-bye.